Hey everybody, welcome to the Pro Tip. I'm Aaron. Today's Pro Tip, master Nagios thresholds for greater monitoring flexibility and power. Now, you're probably familiar with the most common type of threshold. When you would run a configuration wizard, like say the NCPA wizard to monitor CPU, RAM, and disk space on a server, you put in a number for a threshold and Nagios alerts when the metric exceeds the threshold. But say you want to monitor the opposite situation. For example, the AWS EC2 wizard monitors your AWS CPU credit balance, among other things, and it alerts when the balance drops below your threshold. When we go into the CCM and take a look at how Nagios writes out this check, you can see that the numerical threshold has a colon after it. In this example, you can see warning is set to 100 and critical to 25. These settings have Nagios alert when CPU credits go below 125. The important underlying concept to grasp here is that all Nagios thresholds are really specifying ranges. So when you have a regular CPU utilization threshold at 50, what this really means is Nagios will alert if the check result is outside of the range of 0 to 50. When we use the colon, like in the CPU credit balance example, Nagios will alert when the result is outside the range of 10 to infinity. You might find it useful to know you can use the tilde character to specify a range of values to include negative infinity. Maybe you're monitoring temperature sensors or something else that might return negative values. Also, you can use the at character to specify a range between two numbers. Say you have something with an optimal temperature range. The at character will tell Nagios that if the check result is between the two numbers, it's okay. But anything outside the range is not. That's your pro tip on thresholds. If you want to see the full documentation in text, click the link to the Nagios plugin development guidelines in the description below. Thanks for watching. Do you have a pro tip? Would you like a pro tip? Let us know in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe so that every time we put up a new pro tip, you're sure to get it.